Hello everyone, Tawana Michelle here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you have been here before. If you don't know who I am, I am a psychotherapist and recovery coach and I help folks who are struggling with codependency, narcissistic abuse, and interpersonal trauma. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about what happens when you take the narcissist back. I think this is a very important topic because as we all know, or if you have been in a relationship with a narcissist, you know that one of the stages of the narcissistic abuse cycle is the love bombing stage and the hoovering stage. So the narcissist will make desperate attempts to try and get you back so that you can continue to be their supply. And if you have not seen my recent video, Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Tip of the Week, I really speak about the cognitive dissonance that we experience when we are with narcissists because they have their so-called or what appears to be a good and a bad side and when you leave a narcissist you go through periods of grief like any other loss of a relationship that you might experience but it's a lot more complicated because you are grieving an idea of who you thought this person was and what you thought the relationship was supposed to be like and was going to be like and also you may tend to focus on a lot of the positive qualities about the narcissist and the relationship so you might feel tempted to go back and i've been there i've done that um, in fact more than once so i am speaking to you from uh, personal and professional experience as well when I share with you what you might experience if you do give in to the narcissist hoovering attempts and you take them back. So I'm gonna give you five problems that you may experience if you take the narcissist back. The first thing is if you have decided to go back to your narcissist, you have re-entered into the narcissistic abuse cycle and you have become a participant. So, I know it's hard. I know that we become trauma bonded to these people. We become addicted to these people and it can be really hard to completely let go. But if you have allowed yourself to let go and you have been maybe working on yourself and working on your own recovery and working on your own grief, and then you go back to them, you are going back into the cycle of abuse, which has likely been traumatic for you. And not only are you going to continue with the cycle, the cycle of narcissistic abuse includes idealization or love bombing, devaluation, discard, and then the hoovering, which is uh, a part of the idealization stage in their attempts to get you back. But you, you also have to recognize that Although it's not your fault, you are drawn to narcissists because of some of them maybe subconscious reasons, some of them related to a childhood, some of them related to low self-esteem, codependency. Not your fault, but just things that you need to know about yourself that may make you likely to be drawn to these people. So it, it makes sense how we end up with these folks. But at the same time, we have to recognize that if we do go back, we are choosing this. We have become a participant. We have become a willing participant in this narcissistic abuse cycle. So that's one of the, the first issues that you're going to run into is that it's not going to be all peaches and cream. It's not going to be great. It's not going to, the narcissist is not going to fulfill all of these promises he's made during the hoovering attempts to get you back you're gonna fall right back into the narcissistic abuse cycle. Nothing's gonna change. The second problem that you're gonna have if you end up going back to the narcissist is that the narcissist is gonna see you as weaker and easier to manipulate than previously. So the narcissist already saw you as weak and easy to manipulate and vulnerable. Um, but when you left, the narcissist actually became a little doubtful and unsure. Now, this is the only time the narcissist may feel some loss of their power, some loss of their control, some uncertainty about you and about the relationship. That's another one of the reasons they, they try so desperately to do anything they can to get you back under their spell. It's because they feel like they've lost power and control over you and this causes the narcissist to feel 
vulnerable themselves and also to sometimes experience a narcissistic injury and they may become enraged or some narcissists may even develop depressive like symptoms. But when the narcissist finds that their manipulative attempts work and they get you back, not only, as I said, you are drawn back into the abuse cycle, but their feelings of power and control over you is magnified. It's intensified. They know they've got you and they know that they can do whatever they can and you are always going to be there. Or this is what they believe. You're not always going to be there. That's why you're listening to this video and that's why you're learning about narcissistic abuse and how to get yourself out of these situations. But they believe you're always going to be there and that they're always going to be able to manipulate and control you. And this brings us to the third problem you're going to have if you go back to your narcissist. Because they're going to see you as weaker and easier to manipulate, the narcissist abuse strategies will increase in frequency and intensity. That means whatever they were doing to you before to cause you harm, that's going to increase. It's going to get worse and it's going to happen more often. If they were verbally abusive with you, perhaps it could pro progress to physical abuse. If they cheated on you once, perhaps they are going to increase the number of partners that they're cheating on you with. You're also going to find that they're going to be going through the narcissistic abuse cycle more rapidly. The love bombing stages are going to be shorter. The devaluation stages are going to be longer. And the discard stage is going to be even more dramatic than it was before. So everything they've done to hurt you, they're going to continue to do it and they're going to do it more and they're going to do it worse. So that's something to consider um, when you're going back to a narcissist, especially if you were with a narcissist who was physically abusive. That does progress. It gets worse. They, be, they get more violent, it becomes more dangerous. And you don't want that, you don't need that, and you don't deserve that. The fourth problem you're gonna run into if you decide to go back to your narcissist is that they will see you as easy supply. Someone they can always go back to, someone they can use and abuse whenever they want to. So as I said before, not only will all of the abuse increase in frequency and intensity, but they're going to be discarding you more often as well. Why? Because they know they can or they believe they can. And they believe that they can always go back to you no matter what, because again, they see you as weaker, easier to manipulate and someone who's always going to be there no matter what. The fifth problem you're going to run into if you go back to your narcissist is that you're going to start feeling more frustrated with yourself and you're going to feel discouraged and feel like you are stuck in your situation. You may have already done a lot of work on yourself and you feel you've made some progress in your grief and your healing just in getting away from the narcissist. And when you go back, it's really going to have an impact on your self-confidence, on your self-esteem, on your self-worth and on your sense of self in general. You're going to doubt yourself even more. And because you feel like you are stuck and trapped in this situation, you are likely to maybe sit in that and feel discouraged and hopeless rather than look for ways out. But you are not stuck and you don't have to stay there. You can continue to do the work that you've already started before when you left the narcissist. You still have some of the tools, you still have some of the resources, and you're not starting from scratch. So it's not going to be impossible, maybe a little bit more difficult, but definitely not impossible to get yourself back to where you were. Remember, this is not your fault. If you go back to the narcissist, you are still trauma bonded. You are still addicted to the narcissist. It's okay. Just seek some help. You don't have to do this on your own. Always reach out to your support system. Always reach out to a professional who can help you, a life coach, a therapist. Get the resources that you need to get yourself back in a good place where you are away from the abuse, you are away from the trauma so that you can begin to heal.
So that's all I have for you today, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. And also share this video with those who you think may benefit from this topic and leave any comments or questions down below in the comment section. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take care. Bye.